So this is it, part four of my low carb pasta series and the grand finale. In part one, we made the low carb bolognese sauce. In two, we made the low carb pasta sheets. And in three, I showed you the white bechamel sauce. And now it's time to bring it all together into something greater than the sum of its parts, that classic Italian dish, lasagna. So having made all the other constituent parts of this dish, the only thing you'll need now is 500 grams of pre-grated cheddar cheese. Now, how strong you like your cheddar cheese? Well, I leave that up to you. So here we go then. I love a lot of layers to my lasagna. So I love this large and extra deep 10.5 centimeter dish from Commie Chef. And I'll try and put a link in the description below to where you can find one. So I like to start with my red meat sauce on the base. That's quite traditional. First of all, add a layer of your red meat sauce. Yep. Yeah. Just smooth that around. That's nice and even already. And then the next thing is to start layering up with your freshly made pasta sheets. Now you might want to cut these to length just using a knife to the length of your tin and that's going to make them sit far better. Second one in. Again, cut that to the length of the tin. Take a small one there. And don't be afraid to cut thin strips as well. You're going to need a few of those as you build this up. And don't be afraid if they overlap as well. That's really not a problem. On top of that, we're going to add our first layer of bechamel sauce. Now, you don't want to go too thick with this. It's not necessary. Just pour it on from the pan. Now, if you are doing a very deep lasagna, you may want to make a bit more of this. It may not stretch far enough. Smooth that out with a spoon. There. Next, sprinkle one thin layer of your grated cheese. Maybe a little more. Why not? And then on top of that, repeat with another layer of your red meat sauce. Just spread that out. And on top of that, repeat the process over and over again until you have your finished lasagna. I'm going to add another sheet. The nice thing about making your own pasta and putting in these is when you buy it from a shop and it's those hard plastic like sheets, they're always rock hard and square and they never fit very well. Well, you can mold these far more easily into your dish and they just fit your corners really nicely. Next stage again, more white bechamel sauce. Be sparing with this. It's, you use it far more quickly than you might think and you're gonna to wanna to save some for the top of your lasagna. Again, sprinkle some cheese. Maybe not the best dish if you're someone trying to cut your calories alongside your carbs, but I'm kind of at the weight I want to be now. I'm not too concerned, and this is fine for me for maintenance. So this is something I feel I can have. You can see we've got just enough meat left for one more layer. So we'll just tip that in. Get all that great sauce that we worked so hard to make. Get all of that in that pan. Wonderful. Spread that out. There we go. And finally, one last layer of our lasagna sheet. And you can just use some of the off-cut pieces to fill in the various gaps. Oh, 
Don't be afraid if it overlaps, that's fine. That's just more pasta for you. Finally, the remainder of our white vegetable sauce, that top layer. Scrape all that out. Make sure you get every bit out of the pan. There we are. Make sure all your lasagna sheets are covered to stop any pieces burning in the oven. And finally, sprinkle on as much of that remaining cheese as you want to. Kind of seems pointless to not put the rest of it on at this stage. I think we've added enough fat to this meal, but we're in keto. We're allowed to have that fat. And there we are, all put together, all stacked up and ready to go into your oven now for about half an hour. There. Now, if you have any of your pasta left over, remember you can dry it out overnight on the worktop, put it into an airtight container and keep that in the fridge. And that's really convenient. It'll just be there the next time you want to make another lasagna. So while we're waiting for this to go golden brown on the top, here are the overall macros for this dish. Wow, so there we are. Yes, this deep dish of dirty keto is big on calories, but far lower in carbs than any traditional lasagna. And that means you don't have to miss out on one of your absolute favorite meals. Now we're just gonna wait for this to cool down so we can slice into it and serve it. I really hope you've enjoyed my short series on each step of this recipe and that you love this dish when you make it for yourselves. Remember, parts one and two of the series also show you how to make that other family favorite, a fantastic spaghetti bolognese using the same methods. Check out those and lots of other delicious everyday low carb and keto recipes by subscribing to The Low Carb Cook and make sure that you ding that bell to be notified when more videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching The Low Carb Cook. If you enjoyed this episode, why not watch one of our playlists or this recommended video? Click on the logo below to subscribe. Join us on any of our social pages. Or if you'd like to show a bit more love, you can support the channel on buymeacoffee.com using the link below. For even more great stuff, check out the website, thelowcarbcook.com.